Well, Pappy over at Pappy's Corner helped me out with this project a little bit. I needed a <clears throat> I needed a template for this switch. And so I used one of his cards. That's the only one I could find. So Pappy, I appreciate your card. It came in really handy. Now let me get this on here and we'll see what we're doing. Oh yeah, that's probably that. All right, if I can get down here where I can get through it. Let's see here, put this on here. Oh, very quickly. Put this on here like this. That front foot thing quite straight, isn't it? It's got to be perfect on this thing, I'll tell you. That'll work. And the flower. There we go. Now let's see what kind of fiasco we can do with this thing. Let's hope that fits like it's supposed to. That fiberglass is probably too thick. Well, I'm probably going to have to. Uh, oops. Oh, Patty, throw your card. Oh, well. We'll probably be okay with it. Now, let's see where are we at here. We'll wait until tomorrow, but. <coughs> Probably will have to anyway, but a little bit chillier tomorrow, a little cooler. Okay. Okay, no kills. Okay. See if I can get up here where it's a little bit more comfortable. Well, that now. That's supposed to like it too wide. And it's a little too there. Okay. Not that much done, but uh, I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. The dog is supposed to be here from North Dakota, but who knows when they'll show up. That was pretty good, very simple hookup, nothing to it from now, so that'll be it for now. What I'm trying to do <clears throat> is get a put an electric choke on this little predator because. Oh, I already broke, I don't know if you can see it or not. I already broke a hole out of the dash for that cable thing. It was about nine foot long, goes over there. After several times it didn't work, so I'm going to try to put this <coughs> gizmo on here. To the show. It's a, uh, this is one of them universal door lock activators or actuator, I guess they call it. Off. You can put them on any kind of a car almost. But I'm going to try to rig it up on here so it'll, uh, uh, hopefully work the way I want it to. First, I'm going to attempt to uh, bend the. Come on, Joe here. Then there's a little Z band deal on this. It's a little better than normal. Okay. 
Now, whether it works or not is another question. I gotta wait. I don't want to jam with that plastic thing, or otherwise I'll fool around and Google that hole too much. So, well, we just had to wait a few seconds here, and then we get back in a minute. Let me see what we're doing here. Yeah, barely. See, this goes in here like this. Come on, get in there. We should go in there. Maybe I should have. There, there like that. This goes here. <coughs> and this little solenoid pulled all the way back, and that's all the way back there. And I should have brought my little paint pen out, but I didn't. There's one daggum wannabe ladybug or not. sell type of <coughs> screws and they didn't have the ones with the hex heads on them and these ones here with the Phillips laser might be okay I don't know okay I'm gonna see if I can figure out try to remember exactly where that is Right about right there. I messed my finger up. Mm. Now, we're hitting it. Right. No, no we'd be fine, I think, on that. Now, is that going to go through that hole? We don't want it to. No. Okay, so this will go here and like this, and through that little hole, I don't know if the big one's going to be long enough. Probably not. That should work. Now. Something up. There. That is that. And the thing is, I'm going to have to go in there and uh, check out my wiring diagram. <coughs> I got a bunch of got a bunch of trailer wire here. Honestly, if you're going to want to buy a bunch of wire, it's about cheaper to go to Harbor Freight and buy a trailer kit. This ain't near all of it, there's a bunch more. This, it's cheaper than buying this water by itself, I think. But anyway, I gotta figure out how to hook this gizmo up. Here's all these wires. So, I don't know if I'll get done today or come back out in the morning and do this. Um, Maybe it's going to rain tomorrow, but I'll put it off some other time. It ain't no big rush. It's been sitting here for a period of time, so I guess a little longer won't kill me. So I think this is going to work fine, see? Don't know if you guys can't look at it before or not. This will be the solenoid here. This is your actuator. That's just about the exact amount of throw you want on this thing here. So i got to figure out for sure how that works. I mean, well, we can proceed to finish it up, I guess. Well, I'm going to go back to the house and try to find a diagram. I'm going to get kind of tired. I had to bring another load of gravel down. And I wasn't going to do that, but I did. And well, we, we, we got her spread out good, or at least I did. That little tractor may not be perfect for everything. In fact, it don't lift a lot. But works great for this little project like this. Okay. That's enough ramble here until I get this other thing.
this is sort of the way the wiring went. I didn't, uh, it was messed up kind of way I got. This is not really a professional looking job or anything, but it all runs down through here and runs back in there. Well, the first one's already there for power, for the fan. And the second set, we pulled in here for the uh, solar the uh, actuator. And let's see if we can see how it works. I don't know if we can get a good camera angle here or not, but we'll see how yeah, you can see it move a little, but that's not. Let me see if I can move that camera a little bit. We can see something better. For the, the shadows and the color and the light, and nothing's ever good in my video. But anyway, just to give you an idea here, we're going to it back and forth. Oh uh, boy, here's kind of disgusting the way it is. We're there, hopefully. Anyway, that's pulling the soap back and forth. It's supposed to be right down there. And uh, so then you can, uh, don't have to mess with that little cable anymore. So that's the way it works, I guess.